dear husband. I have taken this opportunity to write these few lines to you, which I hope will find you in good health. As I am tolerably well and healthy at this time, thank God for that. We arrived in New South Wales about the 7th of October, after a long and tedious passage of about five months. But we had a tolerably good passage, and we were treated as I could expect. We had a very kind gentleman for a doctor, who treated us very well, and I was very ill on the passage. I was in the hospital 19 days, But I have got a situation in Sydney, a very hard situation. I have got a great deal of work and the time appears to go very slowly. And one day feels as long as a month. And I am very much confined. We are not allowed any liberty to go away from the place we live. And if we do go away and stop out till eight or nine o'clock, we are sure to get put in a watch house and very likely to get sent to the factory, a place where they punish the women very severely. But I hope that the God Almighty will give me strength to get through all of my difficulties. And now I am in a far distant country. I hope my dear little Elizabeth will be took good care of, and I hope she is well, for I very often I'm thinking about her, and I should like very much to see her. Please give my kind love to my mother, to your father and mother, and likewise to my brothers and sisters and all inquiring friends. I am waiting very anxiously to hear from you, my dear husband. And I hope and trust that you will try all the lays in your power to get my sentence mitigated for. If I thought that you could not get something done for me, I think I should die of despair. Please give my respects to Mr. Hurst and Mr. Turner, and I hope you will speak to them concerning me, and I shall feel myself forever indebted to them if, please God, they should get my sentence mitigated. I feel that there was a National Prison Service knee-jerk reaction and no thought was given to alternatives. Mechanics wages are some activities could have been continued with smaller groups to maintain social distancing. In fact, all fit men As may get is, good wages and they choose to work, workshops and association rooms prisoners are very bad off. I am allowed to exercise every two days for 20 minutes and I'm only allowed to shower on day Husband, eight. you were talking of coming to New South Wales. I don't know what to recommend you do. Like many other prisoners, as is none of your trade I am country. finding it extremely fact, hard to be kept there apart is no from my at all and not even allowed to see and be seen by my one-year-old daughter. I've got a very kind gentleman for a master, but I have a great deal of work to do. I've got a very large family to wash The for. last time I saw my and son, and I've got all the laws on the 20th of March, March, and I have washing, happened, sewing, and he has also not seen his fiancée and his two there are six small children, then. and there is the one infant in arms. This has caused us all is incalculable. I hope and trust to God Almighty that none of my friends will it's share the same fate as, if as we I have, have been forgotten about. For nobody as if knows we the are not as important as the outside prisoner has to go As if through, our life them, doesn't mean as much to the powers that be compared to the lives of the people on the outside. My dear husband, I must conclude. And you must answer the letter as quickly as possible Our mental after health you receive it, left as I shall be anxious to hear from you. No second thought. And you must send me all particulars about my little girl. As a distance, but I am from you, is now about 18,000 miles. <laughs>